Amen. I, I tell you, I tell you, it's something, ain't it? I hope the world ain't coming to an end. The Cubs going to win the World Series. Lord, have mercy. That's something, ain't it, Norma? It still got to be all right. Amen. This afternoon, nurses stand. Stand. Amen. They support every service, just like our ushers, and they got a special guest, Dr. Stanley Mason. It's coming from Michigan City. God bless you all uh, so much. Amen. Amen. This is wonderful, Sister Taylor and uh, Sister uh, Jean Connors and the people that have worked to make this day a success for our breast cancer survivors. Amen, amen. God bless you. God is good. God is good. Y'all, I was looking at you ladies up here, Daisy and uh, TT. Y'all don't look like what you've been through. Amen, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I tell you, I'm just as happy today. First uh, uh, Corinthians 13, 13. And now about it, faith, hope. Stop right there. I want to talk about hope. Touch your neighbor. Say the preacher going to talk about hope. The Amplified Bible says, Now there remain faith, abiding trust in God is promise. Hope is confident expectation of eternal salvation. I want to talk about hope. You know, Paul writes this letter to the church at Corinth. And that Corinthian church was messed up. Sons were sleeping with their mothers. All types of corruption was going on at Corinth. And people were in competition because they thought their gift was better than somebody else's gift. And so he writes this hymn of love. And he lets us know that there will come a time when all the gifts of God to his church would have been fulfilled. and Their purpose has been met. Paul said, we see through, that's in verse 12, we see through a glass darkly. Which leads me to ask, after they fulfill their purpose, what will last? In my mind, you see it clear, I feel this last verse, this concluding verse, gives us the answer that faith, hope, and love will last. These three key Christian characters are lasting characters. It is here that he shares three important words of faith. They speak to the heart of our religion as the children of God. These fundamental principles of faith, this triad of qualities that Paul says will abide. Well, last Sunday we looked at faith. And today I, I want to look at hope. And I'm going to get y'all out of here. I smell chicken, y'all. <laughs> Amen. Pastor Jasper say we ought to open a chorus chicken shack. Post boy love chicken, y'all. Hope. Hope. Let the church shout hope. Recently, I looked a young man in the eye who had given up on life. This young man felt that he had no reason to live and he wanted to take his life. I remember years ago, Dr. Jerry Chiss, who was an attorney, Esquire, 208 South LaSalle, Suite 1816. We arrived at work that day, and everybody in the office 
was getting ready to go and said, Joel, we've been waiting on you. We're going to Jerry Chiss' funeral. He killed himself the day before, and they buried right away. He committed suicide. It wrecked my world. Because in my mind, why would anybody give up on life? I looked this young man in the eye and told him, no matter what you're going through and facing your life, you still have hope. No matter how dark and difficult you may find yourself, and you always have hope. It doesn't matter what station of life you find yourself in, you still have hope. What is hope? Touch your neighbor, wake them up, and say, neighbor, what is hope? Hope means the desire of something good with the expectation of obtaining it. Hope means trust. Confidence, security. Webster's defines hope as desire accompanied by expectation of or belief in fulfillment. The desire with believing that it's going to happen. The root word of hope is an Anglo-Saxon Anglo word which means to open the eyes wide and watch what is to come. It paints the picture of a young child who's waiting for Christmas to see what's up under the tree. Hope is not shallow optimism. Hope is expecting and it's looking to God who has control of everything will bring it to pass. I've said for three decades in this pulpit that hope is faith that never goes on strike. Look at your neighbor and tell him hope is faith that never goes on strike. Hope is patient. For it understands that in God's sight, a thousand days are equal to one. We who are believers should always expect for God to do something. We wait on God has said as coming to pass. We who are believers are not like others who have no hope. I'm a child of God and I have so much from God and I realize that, that his provision and protection, but I still have some prospects of stuff coming in my future. We're poor pilgrims of sorrow with our hope in future joy. This reminds me of a story I read this week. A man approached a little league baseball game one afternoon. He asked the boy, what's the score? He said, it's 18 to nothing. We're behind. Man looked at him and I said, I bet you're discouraged, aren't you? And the little boy said, why should I be discouraged? We haven't even got up to bat yet. Hope is essential to our survival. Until the end, you've got to keep on believing. You've got to keep on trusting in God that what he said will come to pass. Y'all don't know what hope is. Let me really show you what hope is. Hope brings to mind great, wonderful, and impressive Cub fans. They haven't won a World Series since 1908. But because of a hope, they keep saying, wait till next year. Come on, talk to me. 
No matter how bad things would look on the north side in Wrigleyville, they kept saying, wait till next year. Come on, help me somebody. Maybe this year is next year, but they keep hope alive. Somebody who's in here today, you've got to get to the point in your life that no matter what happens to you, you've got to keep hope alive. You, you've got to keep believing that God is able. You, you've got to keep leaning and depending on God. You, you've got to keep trusting in God despite your condition, despite your circumstance, despite the conflict you find yourself in. You've got to keep hope alive. I wish you could just touch three people real quick. Even if you have to get up today and just tell them, keep hope alive. Hope. Hope. In the midst of trials, tribulation. Hope. That the sun will shine again. Hope. Secondly, hope is all over the Bible. The Bible is a book of hope. Look your neighbor and say, neighbor, look at him. Say, it's a book of hope. I, some of y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all hear me out there? Yeah, all right. I'm, do I need sign language or something? I don't know what's going on with some of you. The book of hope. In the Old and New Testament, one can see hope that's written on the pages of sacred history. God's people are clearly seen as a people of hope. If you read the word of God, you will see how people live with their lives in hope because of an almighty God. You can go back to Abraham when God told him by faith to leave his kindred and acquaintances. He packed up his U-Haul Campbell and started going toward a promised land that he was hoping to see that God would take him to. Are y'all walking with me? These people had hope when it was good and when it was bad. No matter what happened to them, they continued to have hope. Even because of sin, they found themselves living in exile. They kept hold of their hope. God would raise up prophets to let them know that there is a better day ahead. Just keep believing, keep trusting God was going to redeem them from their situation. Matter of fact, even when they said it's hard to sing Zion songs in a strange land, they never threw their harps away. Come on, talk to me. Because they were looking for a better and brighter day ahead. Somebody in here, you having a hard time, but you need to be looking toward your future Touch your neighbor and say, my future is much brighter than my past. In the New Testament, hope is founded in Jesus. Let the church shout Jesus. Some of y'all joined in. Some of you still ain't caught on yet. Let the church shout Jesus. That's a whole lot better. It shares with us that he is hope. He gives you hope, not only of living now, but to live in the future. Are y'all walking with me? Jesus Christ is our hope for tomorrow. Even when you die, hope still lives. Come on, talk to me. You, you read the Bible, haven't you? I wish I had time to talk about the Thessalonican church. They were dying in the faith, but he said, don't be like folks, ignorant concerning those asleep who act like they ain't got no hope. We got hope. Even when this earthly house of this tabernacle is dissolved, we got to build. I wish I had one person. Hope. It's confident expectation of external salvation anybody know what the symbol of hope is you wear it all the time the symbol of hope is the anchor touch your neighbor say the symbol of hope 
is an anchor. I always listen to folks while folks wearing an ankle around uh, anchor around their neck. It's a symbol. It's like the cross in the early church. The main symbols were a fish, a shepherd's rod, and the anchor. Are y'all walking with me? Symbol of hope is an anchor just as an anchor drops down in the murky deep and holds fast to the bottom to secure the ship. That's how hope works for us. In the excavations of the catacomb areas in Rome, they find symbols of the ancient faith. This shepherd's anchor, it expressed confidence that despite all the adverse winds of ill fortune and persecution, the believer would be preserved for the heavenly kingdom. And their hope lets them realize that even if I die, I'm going to see Jesus face to face. I wish somebody could just tell their neighbor, look at me, I'm a person of hope. I am a believer. number of years ago, a researcher performed an experiment to see the effect of hope. Those who were undergoing hardship. Two sets of laboratory rats were placed in separate tubs of water. The researcher left one set in the water and found that within an hour, they all had drowned. The other rats were periodically lifted out of the water and put back in the water. Picked up out of the water and put back in the water. What happened was the second set of rats lived because when they were pulled out of the water, they saw hope. Come on, talk to me. Because they were given rest, they had hope. Those animals somehow hoped that they could stay afloat just a little longer. Somebody would just reach down and pick them up. I, I'm trying to help somebody today. When you got hope, you may be drowning. But somebody, I wish I had somebody today. I can't find me one hot spot in here that'll reach down and lift them up. If hope holds the power for such unthinking rodents, how much greater should hope be in the life of the Christian? Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, by now, you ought to have hope in the Lord. Touch your neighbor and say, Jesse Jackson told y'all to keep hope. Alive. Look over at your neighbor and say, You need to keep your hope alive. Thank God that I still have hope. My hope, my hope is not in Emmanuel. I'm talking about y'all's mayor, Emmanuel. Yeah, who wants to cut the police, firemen, and school teachers. My hope is not in Donald Trump, who wants to be a, a build a great wall. My hope is not in lying Hillary Clinton, but my hope is in Jesus. Can I get a witness here? I wish I had a member in him could say that my hope, yeah, is in Jesus. 
My hope, I said my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his saving grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. Christ, I wish y'all could shout Christ. Christ, I wish somebody could shout Christ. Oh Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Yeah, hope will abide. Tell your neighbor, hope will abide. Hold on to your hope. Hope will keep you going when you're unemployed. You see yourself with a new job with good benefits. Hope will see you at the altar marrying your boom when you don't even have nobody to love you. Hope, I said hope, will see you in a brand new car when you don't even have a car. Hope, when you're sick, says you'll be healed. Hope, even when you have breast cancer, you say this will not be the end. Jesus, my doctor, Jesus, my bomb in Gilead, Jesus, my physician, will have the last say. Hope in the midst of darkness, you say the sun will shine again. Hope says when I'm knocked down, I'm not going to stay down. I'll get back up again. Hope lets me know that I may be lost, but one day I'll be found. Is there anybody here going to hold on to your hope? If you go hold on, I need a participator, not a spectator right now. I need you to get up and go hug four people and tell them whatever it is. Don't let go of your hope. Don't let go of your hope. You may be crying, but God can wipe tears from your eyes. Have I got a witness in him? Good evening, warriors. I said good evening, warriors. Keep hope alive. You don't have to worry. If you wait on him, he will. Anybody know he'll show up? Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's enough this morning. I said that's enough this morning. Just look over at your neighbor and say the reason I've got a hope is one Friday. Can the church shout Friday? One Friday outside the walls of Jerusalem. They took my hope. They nailed his hands. They took my hope and they spiked his feet. Hope died. One Friday, hope died at Calvary. But Sunday morning, hope got up. And since hope got up, I'm going to get up. Since hope got up, I know I'll rise again. I'm sorry this morning, but my soul is happy. I've had 
some good days and I've had some sad days. I've had some hills to climb. Anybody had trouble? Anybody up in here had trouble? Can you help your pastor say neighbor? Oh, neighbor, neighbor, oh, neighbor, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Can you tell your neighbor nobody's seen the trouble I've seen? You ain't cried like I've had to cry. You ain't been broke like I've been broke. You haven't been walked out on like I've been walked out on. But I got Jesus. And just as long as I have Jesus, I've got enough. I'm trying to let this go. But I'm going to hold on. Anybody going to hold on? Everybody go hold on. Shout it. Yeah. 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 The door is open. Hold on. Hold on to hope. Hold on. Hold on to hope. Don't you give up. Don't you give in, don't you give out. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Hold on to your hope. I've been lied on, I've been talked about, I've been mistreated, but just as long as I got Jesus, I have enough. I wish I had about five people in here to shout just as long as I got Jesus. I got enough. My hope for tomorrow, my lily of the valley, my bright and morning star, my way out of no way, my midnight rider, my leaning post, my savior, my deliverer. Is he your hope? He's a bridge over troubled waters. He's a shelter in the time of storm. I need one today who know my hope. Shout yeah! Ah! 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 The door is open. I'm glad, I'm glad. Daisy, I'm glad I got hope. Mary, I'm glad I got hope. Annette, I'm glad I got hope. Is it anybody here glad you got hope? You ought to just touch yourself and say no matter what happens, no matter what I go through, I'm going to come out of this. And when I come out, I'm not going to look like what I've been through. You ought to just shout right now. I'm not going to look like what I've been through. Hey! 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 The door is open. The door is open. Is there one? Come get your hope. Come get your Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've had some sleepless nights. I've had some good days. I've been down in the valley. Tell your neighbor, I've been down in the valley. And you may be down in the valley right now. But I got help for you right now. If you're down right now, I need you to look up. And when you look up, look to the hills from which cometh your help. Where does your help come from? All of my help comes from the Lord. Hey! Hey! Hey!
Is there one? Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. When everybody else get their chance, give God a chance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is there just one today? Let me just see the hands of everyone who have hope of eternal life. It give you life more abundantly here. And because of hope, we never die. See, that's why hope stands to the end. Because hope will take you to glory, to your eternal salvation. And if you're not saved, you're not a member of a church, you don't know Jesus in the pardon of you, if you drifted away from the church, this is your hour to get right with God. It was right to be in church. Hallelujah, it's wrong to be out of church. Amen. God bless you. There's room. There's none. Are you sure there's nobody want to come today? If you want to come, just come on, run down here and give me your hand. But more importantly, give God your heart. Amen. 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 It's time to give. Ask the church to pray for Pastor Jasper. He's in Mississippi today. He's preaching at Tabernacle at 8 o'clock and 11. And he's preaching in the prison tonight at 7. Amen. And they've been having some riots in that prison, so y'all pray for him. Amen. Amen. God is so good. If you need an envelope, raise your hand. Amen. Amen. Pastor Jasper, last I think last funeral we had the fried chicken. He just come to the he said, This chicken is so good. We ought to open a chicken shack at this church. And I start thinking about my grandmama, but I can't say it. Amen. She said, that's how you can tell if a man been called to preach. If he love him some fried chicken, Lord. Him. And I can't tell you what else she said, but Sister Hankins will tell you. Amen. <laughs> how many people have that? How many tithers do we have? If you don't have one of these uh, tithers confessions, I, do we have any more? I think Deacon Miller had some. Urshans have some. If you're a tither, if you, you don't have yours, amen. Can somebody pass these out up here? I have a few up here. And the deacons and ushers have some. I have Julius Varnador's tithe. I have Tony Green's tithe. I have Cynthia Taylor's, Dr. Cynthia Taylor's tithe. I have Reverend Range tied, and I have Sheree Hunter's tied today. Amen. 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 Uh, I just recommend that you tithe so you can receive the blessings of God. Amen. Amen. 